Okay, and welcome back students who are taking Math for Business and Finance and Math Applications. And we're working on the tw Chapter 21 Drill Problems, the Odd Numbered Problems. And remember, if you don't understand something, watch the video again. Okay, you watch them a couple times if you have to. Um, they, you know, some of these concepts can be complicated. Um, as you saw from the previous videos, I mean, it's simple to say, okay, here's the cost of a stock when you know the price and the number of shares. A little bit more complicated when we add in a commission. But then when we start talking about dividends, it can be really, really complicated. And that was just stock, okay? We're not even talking about bonds, which is what our next problem is about, you know, bonds. So um, if you're, you know, you watch the video, you know, it's, un it's better to understand the concept and to be able to apply it to the situation. Don't think that you can do this stuff cookie cutter, okay? Yeah, sure, step by step, you can calculate the price of a stock. But when you're doing dividends, okay, you can't look at another problem and then try to copy it and mimic it and, you know, do it step by step. Because when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, things like dividends, there's a lot of variables and, if you're trying to follow an exact example and and trying to do it exactly that way, well, this particular situation is different, and you're not gonna you know get it correct. Um, all right. So with that said, again, you know, telephone and speak with an instructor if you have to. Okay. All right. So drill problem 21-11. All right. For these bonds, calculate the total dollar amount you would pay at the quoted price. Disregard commissions or any interest that you may have accrued. Okay, so the company is Wang. The bond price is um, 114. The number of bonds purchased is two, and we want to know the dollar amount of the purchase price. Okay. Now remember, when it comes to bonds, they're generally in increments. The face value is $1,000. Okay. Um, you know, it is possible to buy bonds with a face value of $100 or something else. A hundred, you know, a thousand is the most common, okay. Um, but you can buy like government bonds, savings bonds, things like that, in increments of a hundred. You don't really see them in any other odd, uh, odd face value price that often. I mean, it is possible, but the bookkeeping on it is just, you know, horrendous. So, uh, you know, they they keep them uh, basically in these two terms. Again, you know. Odd number uh, face values have to do with, you know, odd situations that are well beyond the scope of this uh, textbook, right? So just be aware that when you talk about the price of a bond, you're starting at a face value of 1,000 or 100. But in this case here, most, um, you know, you'd have to be told that they're $100. I'm just saying savings bonds can be sold at $100 as a face value. But for the, all intents and purposes, in this textbook, we're talking about a face value of a thousand. Okay. Now, um, when we're looking at that, and we know the face value was a thousand, the bond price is 114. And if you recall from the uh, theory video, that when a bond is first created and has a face value of a thousand, the price they give it the price of a hundred. Right. So that thousand dollar bond, the price, uh, the uh, quote is at a hundred. So if the bond price goes up, in this case up to 114, that means that this bond is trading at a premium of 14 dollars, meaning 114 less 100, so you have a premium of 14 dollars. If the bond price was trading down at 96, if that was the price, then it would be at a discount of four dollars the difference between the two and so that's how you kind of like know um you know where you're at in as relative to the actual price of the bond because the bonds are all purchased at a thousand dollars right so with that said we have our bond price here is a thousand dollar i mean 114 okay and since it's at 114, remember that's 1.14, okay? And the price of the bonds are 1,000, okay? So that gives us um, 1.140. I'm sorry, 1 point, yeah. 1.1140, 1 not 1 point, 1140. 
Um, and you buy two of them, so that's 2280 is the price of the dollar purchase price of the two bonds. Okay, all right, so I let me go over that again real quick because I kind of got my decimals all mixed up in my head as I was trying to explain it. All right, the bond price is a dollar for 114, which is equivalent to one. 0.14. Remember, a thousand dollar face value is equal to a hundred, and a hundred, um, as a percentage wise, is the same as one, right? So we're talking about the premium of fourteen dollars uh, over and above that one. So we're looking at, in decimal terms, 1.14 as that price. If it was 96, okay. Well, then we would be talking about 0 0.96. All right. So we have the um, 1.14, and each bond is a, um, a face value of 1,000. Okay. So when we do the math here, um, we end up with 1,140. $1,140 is the value of that $1,000 bond, okay? And since we have two of them, we multiply by two, and that gives us $2,280 is the cost, uh, the price of the bond, okay? The price of those two bonds, right? The purchase price, okay? So, um, you know, go back and, and watch this video, you know, watch that over again if you still have any questions. Um, but let me look at the next problem real quick here. Okay, and this here is another bond um, question. So let me, actually, I'm going to stop here um, because we only have two problems left, and this one is going to take a little bit more time also. Okay, so I'll see you in the next uh, video for the next two problems.